Why, hello there, it's John from Nintendo Life here, or John's hands at least. If I, if I position this in a way that reflects my face, yeah, I'm a person. Hello. So there is one problem with the Nintendo Switch OLED model, and if we compare it to the standard Switch a moment, just kind of dust off some of the dust, you might barely catch it, but this OLED is just a teeny bit larger than the standard Switch. And why that's a problem, let's, let's say you have a grip existing for this thing, and it's a tight fit. That means that grip is unlikely to fit the OLED, because it's just a bit bigger. So, in came Skull & Co. They sent across this case here, and I thought to myself, what could possibly be in here? Although I might have known prior. And uh, what is in here is not only a, a, a nice nifty carrier case, but also this old thing. Okay, and you're probably thinking, John, this is just some kind of shell. Why are you showing me a shell? Well, this shell houses potential. Let me show you what I mean by that. So this, it may seem like just a plastic shell, but there are accessories. We can put on this little rounded thing here, or we can put on this little lumpy thing here. So basically this grip comes with a bunch of little textured handles that you can put on. There's a nice sort of circular one, there's a sort of triggery one, and then there's just a smooth one. And on the box it shows you which of these are ideal for your hand type. Let, let me show you that. So the plus grip is slightly larger and more outwardly angled, whereas the trigger grip has a trigger shaped design providing additional grip for middle fingers. So this really just does sort of depend on what kind of hand you have. Do you have small hands, medium hands, large hands? You're pretty much covered right here. So let me demonstrate how these sort of are clip on a moment. So let's take a nice little grippy grip one. This is probably for small hands. And there's little railings in there, which just kind of match up. Am I on the right side? It would definitely help if I were on the right side, but you can just sort of go up and it just sort of snaps into place. And now suddenly this plastic shell has a nice textured grip on the back. If you want to, you can mix and match your grips, but personally, this is not my favorite one. So I'm just gonna slide this one off, and we are gonna use the trigger grips. This is my favorite one. So this would go in this one as well. Nope, this one goes over here. I am not a smart man. I feel like a child who's learning that circular blocks go in the circle hole. But there we go, so now we've got this nice uh, triggery grip on the back here. And the coolest thing is this is technically a multi-platform grip. And what I mean by that is you can put both your OLED switch and your standard switch in here. And you might be flipping out right now. You might be thinking, John, you just told me that's impossible. You told me there were different sizes. Well, in comes this thing. This has, this is another form of potential. So let's first showcase it with the standard switch. If I just sort of slide this in, you will see it's a bit wobbly right now. I can sort of like move it around like that. It's not quite the ideal fit for a standard switch. However, however, we can take this little thing here, slide it through there, and suddenly it's latched on. And this puppy ain't going nowhere. So you can use this for any switch you want, apart from the light. So these two. But you'll probably want this for the OLED switch. Let's just go ahead and slide this out very easily, by the way. You are going to need that plastic lock when using the, the regular switch. Now the OLED is a bit more of a squeeze, which is a good thing. You don't want this thing falling out uh, while you're being impressed by the screen quality. Because let me tell you, before I had this grip, I turned the screen on and I went, whoa, that's way too vibrant. I threw my switch in the air and I broke it. So it's a good thing I have this grip now to prevent me from freaking myself out. So I probably would recommend still locking this thing in place, but if I move it around, it's not going to jolt anywhere. If I go upside down right now, it's not locked in, but it's not budging either. So uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but uh, yeah, it is very nicely and tightly gripped in there. And again, if you don't like the current trigger fit, you can exchange these for those other two over there. I think this one's my favorite personally but it's gonna come down to personal preference. But yeah, let's give this little thing a go. And I'll be honest, throughout the entirety of my Nintendo Switch life, I have gone in raw. I have not used a grip of any kind. I'm just, I'm just a Joy-Con man. And I've been happy with that until now. But maybe, maybe I've seen the light, because this does feel really, oh, that's too soon of a jump. This does feel really good. Uh, I am more of a handheld player than a console player. So maybe if you are more of a, a doctor guy, this will give you that sort of visceral uh, controller type experience, that sort of controller feel, than uh, holding it just in handheld mode. You know, one really cool thing too, actually, 
is if we wanted to, we can flick out the kickstand right in the back, and it will still stand up. In fact, there's even room for a USB-C port right there for us to plug something in and charge while it's like this, which is very neat too. But yeah, let's keep playing. Let's keep playing some Limbo. You know, Limbo's probably not the most outrageous game to test this thing with. Why did I jump down? Okay, so we're going to test this in Mario Tennis Aces, and the CPU is on the highest difficulty, but I expect they're not using a grip, so their sweaty paws are going to be going all over the shop, whereas we're going to catch them off guard. See? Look how slip- that's, that's ace difficulty. Yet their slippy little paws just can't get the ball. It's sad, really. But yeah, because we are gripping all over the shop, we have the advantage. Hey, right, watch this. Watch this. Oh! It's okay, we're gonna do a good shot in a moment. I promise you. Promise you li I promise you this. And can the CPU save it? Yeah. Oh no! Oh! I shouldn't have done that. It's okay though, we'll win. I promise. If I don't... Then, uh, Xeon, you can have my Dreamcast. I am playing behind a viewfinder, by the way, so this is not optimal gameplay. But we're currently tied- Oh, what? Well, you didn't even slow down time, Rosalina! Oh, now you, you slow down time for the simplest shot, but not the one that's coming at you at rapid speed. Shenanigans. There are shenanigans afoot. I can't let Xeon- I can't let Xeon have the Dreamcast. Oh, 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 no, 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 don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, can you stop this? Yep, oh, we're close to breaking that racket, though. <laughs> it's because her grip was just too sweaty. Unlike me. Who has the perfect grip. But yeah, this thing actually does feel really good. I was saying earlier that I've been content as just a regular handheld guy. But yeah, this just does give you that little extra bit of comfort. And what I really like about this grip too, is if we go back to this one over here, this makes it a nice portable size. Because this is kind of like a chunky uh, hand mold. Whereas this is something that just slides on and makes it like a really nice flat surface. Uh, great for just like throwing it in a bag, not making anything bulky. And the case itself is pretty damn brilliant. I mean, in this you get space for 10 different cartridges, which is good, because I've got quite a few cartridges to put in there. You can also put stuff in there, and sort of slide them in there. You can even hook the entire grip with your switch in, like, right there. You can put your gum in there. Yeah, I'm just really impressed with this thing. The Switch OLED looks great, and I love the white contrast with the white Joy-Con. Yeah, it's a good little thing, and I recommend it for you and your pets. So if you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments below, and of course, go to that subscribe button, but don't touch it with your sweaty hands, you've got to hold a grip, and make sure that thing's going nowhere. And we'll see you next time! Bye everyone! Oh,